I think it's time we start a glue book. Are you also a paper hoarder, magazine collector, and have folders upon folders of paper scraps? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how I collage four pages using grid layouts for design ideas. I hope this project will give you inspiration to make a glue book and use up your paper stash. From my understanding, a glue book is exactly what it sounds like. So I'm starting one with this brown chipboard binder that I will link in the description below. Before we get further, my name is Bree from 1134 Press. Subscribe if you like to watch journaling, bookmaking, and paper crafts. We upload every Sunday and Wednesday. So we're going to start by using one of the paper sleeves that come with the binder as a template to cut out pages from this craft paper pad that I've been obsessed with. But of course you can use any paper that you like. I punched the first hole with my screw punch, but if you don't have one, a regular hole punch will do the job too. Grids are the building blocks of design, and you probably use them without realizing it when you're collaging in your own journals. You intuitively know to add a sticker in the corner of your spread because you can sense that adding that sticker will create balance. I journal a lot based on that kind of intuition, but sometimes I get bored with seeing similar compositions in my projects. So for this first page, I went to Pinterest and searched design grid layouts to see if there were any designs that sparked my imagination. Afterwards, I worked with papers and images in my stash and laid them out based off of my grid. I know glossy paper is something that junk journalers shy away from, but I found that vintage magazines are less glossy. This particular issue from the Rolling Stones is from 1999. I got this one from The Book Thing in Baltimore, which is a nonprofit and warehouse that's full of free books. So. When it's free to travel again, and if you want to visit Baltimore, that is definitely a destination that I recommend. And now I'm just writing a quote that I found on Instagram. 
and then I'm using my white jelly roll pin which I will link in the description below if you can't find it in a local shop and you'll see here that I made a little mistake when I was writing so I just covered it up with brown cardstock and wrote over it which is a trick that I know you've probably seen other creators do uh, but it is super handy when you make mistakes For the back page, I just glued in an end page that I took from a withdrawn library book. And instead of throwing out the rest of the magazine page that I was collaging with on the front, I added torn pieces from it to the collage. I also stamped this adorable goat stamp that I got from an antique shop a few weeks ago. As you can see from this project and all the other projects, I end up with a lot of unusable paper scraps, but I save them in a little brown bag so I can make handmade paper with them later. Being an eco-friendly scrapbooker is something to aspire to be. And I actually wrote an article uh, giving ideas about how you can be a little bit more eco-friendly when crafting. If you want to check that out, I'll make sure to Put a link below and you'll also see um, in my next spread that I end up using the plastic from an old sticker pack to create a window for the spread.
Okay, so when making this page, I realized once I had the magazine paper glued down that I actually glued it upside down. So thankfully I was able to pull it off and then flip it over, but then I realized that that kind of messed up the composition of the flowers. So I added more flowers to try to make it a little more balanced. And I think it came out okay in the end. So I should say that on Sundays I usually do my junk journal with me videos and then Wednesdays are tutorials but today's video is definitely more in vain with junk journal with me or collage with me. So if this is something that you are interested in watching I upload every Sunday uh, this style of video typically and um, I also usually share a journaling prompt as I collage that will inspire you to use a material that you probably have laying around your house or one that you might want to try or a writing prompt that you might be interested in doing. So yeah, if you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe and like and all that good stuff to get more of that content. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have an amazing week and we will see you on Sunday.